All right, fellows. So let's start with the last portion of the constraint, which is our foreign key. Now, this constraint is not that simple. It is related to the primary key. So actually, the broader topic is table relationship. Whenever we have to connect two tables, just like in RDBMS, the tables which are interconnected to each other, right? So if you have to establish relation between two tables over here, one of them will be parent table, the other one will be child table. The parent table consists of some basic level information and the child table has some additional information. And I want that additional information to be connected to the primary table over there, or I should say the parent table over here. Now, of course, the two tables should have a common column, only then they can be connected. For example, let's so there's a table called as employee or uh, details right and it has employee id its name gender marital status and various other aspects to it right and there's another additional table related to the employee and it has employee id and its preferences of holidays its preferences of optional holidays and there's some other data related to the employee now the two table the second table is the child table it consists of employee id the first table which is the parent table also consists of employee id now the two tables can talk to each other using that particular common column as employee ID. But that same common column, employee ID, will act as a primary key in the parent table and will act as a foreign key in the child table. Right? That's what we need to look into. Okay? So, there are certain relationship rules if you have to connect two tables. Of course, once we have done that, the two tables should have a common column. We have already discussed that. The column column data in the child table should be present in the parent table. That is, if there is a data that we need to draw from a certain employee number 204, employee ID 204, that employee ID, if you want to connect it with the parent table, the parent table also has, should have that particular data. The child table should be a subset of the parent table, right? And data from the child table cannot be deleted unless the same data is deleted from the parent table, right? Well, of course, there is a workaround in that as well, but these are the general rules. All right, so let's look at the syntax for the same. What is the syntax? Syntax, again, it's not that simple in case of foreign key, so please pay attention, right? So let's start by creating table command over here. We created a table. We gave a table name. This is simple till now, right? And now we move forward to inputting the column names. We given the column name, the column data type, column name to column data type. And in case you want to put a constraint, put a constraint over there, right? Once we are done with this, then we use something called as foreign key. And we give the column name of the columns that we have input over here. This is the child table that we are creating because we are using foreign key over here, right? So column name one, column name two, one of them will become the foreign key. Let's say column name one, followed by references, parent table name, and then column name of that particular column, which is common to both of them. For example, here it goes something like foreign key. Let's say column name one, employee ID is my foreign key. So I'll just input employee ID over here and then we'll move on to references. References indicates that I'm referring to this parent table. Now I have to give the parent table name, which is let's say employee details and common column name, which is again employee ID. And now once I'm done with this, now the foreign key is defined. Now the two tables are linked to each other. And now I can close my query with a parenthesis and, you know, link the two tables with each other. Let's see this in SQL. All right, guys, so I'll, I'll start again from by dropping this particular table because I might need to give some. OK, I dropped this table. The table doesn't exist. I'll create the table again, although there are different ways of doing it again. But we need to make some changes over here. For example, I want to make course ID along with not null the primary key, right? This is my primary key, right? So now I create the table. This is my primary key. I create the table. Yeah. Okay, right. So the table got created. I'll quickly insert the data one by one. Insert the data, then insert this data, then insert this data, right? And, 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 of course, I made, and let's see whether it happens over here. Great, right? And now the table is there in front of me. Cool. So this is what I wanted, All right? Now, let's say this is my parent table over here. I'll want to create another table. I'll create another table, which is I'll give the name as I neuron 2, right? And in this table, I define course ID as uh, integer not null. And I assign it. Well, foreign key cannot be assigned like this, right? All right, not null followed by, again, I'll just input a comma over here. Let me go for number of, uh, or rather I should say batch size 
and uh, batch sizes let's say my integer again All right and i go for let's say fee structure All right and fee structure which is my let's say six thousand oh, i'm so sorry i should not enter the values over here it's again integer i want it to be not null again okay right so this is what i have done i have created a table i'll close the parentheses and close this one this is the table which got created great the table is created now if i let's say insert a dummy value over here insert into i i don't know why it happens but i think that particular okay i'll just do it over here insert into i neuron 2 and i'll go for values what happened insert into why is it giving me error okay let me see it later on values let's say let me give the values i'll give the values for everything right so i'll just go for course ideas let's say 203 right i hope there's a 203 yes there's a 203 over here then we have batch sizes let's say 25 and let's say the fee structure is 6000 right now i close this and run this as well and now if i select star from i neuron and put it over here right i neuron 2 and run this query i'll see that there is one course id batch size and this is created but there's one thing that i'm not created done over here is to assign any kind of foreign key right so that i think i'll have to insert now and let me see whether i'll be able to do that again so i'll just drop i neuron although there is an alter table option available but right now for some reason i do not want to move on to that i neuron 2 and i should say drop table i need on two and this is the one i want to run i ran it and then i create i want to create this table and now towards the end what i'll do is i'll input the foreign key oh, i'm so sorry guys there is a spell error my spelling was never good <laughs> right so i'll uh, just do this foreign key and then in the parenthesis i have to mention the name of the column which i want it to be which of course will be course id now the course id over here becomes my foreign key right and 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 it shows an error over here what is that error forgot about one simple thing over here that after mentioning the foreign key what you need to do is to go for references right and then you have to give the name of the parent table which in this case will be i neuron uh, let me enter over here so that we can see the entire query i neuron followed by the name of that particular column which you want to be the common one and now once you're done with this you can close the parenthesis the next parenthesis of create table and the query and then you can run the query and now it'll run and i'm so sorry already exist i'm so sorry i think i have already created this right so i'll just do this thing drop and then i'll create this again okay and yeah now it is done so this is what you'll see once you create the table for the first time